What's up guys and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can complete all of this week's Forzathon challenges in which to win the Mustang Boss 302 Horizon Edition which is a very cool prize and very easy to get as well. Uh, so without further ado let's get stuck into the first challenge here which is very very easy. Uh, just want you to perform 10 ultimate air skills to win the Mustang Boss 302 Horizon Edition like I said not hard at all. Next one wants you to complete a bucket list challenge to win 3 wheel spins. Uh, the third challenge here just wants you to perform 5 ultimate skill chains to receive 55,000 credits and the final challenge wants you to get 3 stars on the timber mill danger sign to earn 50,000 XP so all very easy challenges uh, let's get stuck in on the first one here anyway uh, which wants you to perform 10 ultimate air skills to win the Mustang Boss 302 Horizon Edition now I recommend you come over here just below the airfield you can be in whichever car you want I recommend 4 wheel drive but it's entirely down to yourself it doesn't have to be a necessarily quick car but obviously the faster the better in most circumstances uh, and of course I'm sure you guys all know what an ultimate air skill is it's just getting a mass amount of air time um, so not hard at all you want to get a decent amount of speed but be careful on these sand dunes because if you get too much speed uh, you might end up messing up the landing or just doing, going into some form of barrel roll or on its side uh, and not landing it properly and you won't get the skills but 10 ultimate uh, air skills very very easy it'll take you barely a minute to do uh, the next challenge here wants you to complete a bucket list challenge to win three wheel spins yet again another easy and quick one depending on which bucket list you pick now there are two different types you've got the bucket list and a bucket bucket list blueprint uh, which are ones that you can create or created by friends or random people or whatever now I did just a generic the bucket list one uh, set, set out by turn 10 the guys obviously that made Forza um, so that's the one I picked this one here which is I don't know what it was called something to do with the Centenario uh, which just wanted you to get 15 near miss skills but it's entirely down to yourself like I said which one you want to do you can even go and make your own bucket list and do that if you want but just remember that it will take a little bit longer it'll take a bit more time because uh, obviously you'll have to create it yourself but then all you have to do is complete it now I'm sure there are loads of bucket lists out there which just require you to hit a certain top speed or drive a certain distance you know really not very hard at all not time consuming but this one 15 near misses jobs are good uh, third challenge wants you to perform five ultimate skill chains to receive 55,000 credits now an ultimate skill chain requires you to get just over 20,000 skill points as you can see here you just saw the ultimate skill chain pop up uh, obviously times by six uh, I don't think it's done on the final score it's done on if you get over 20,000 skill points and you'll see that it's just popped up with ultimate skill chain after all the points are racked up I'll show you once again like I said it's just 20,000 times by six or times by whatever your multiplier will be uh, and you'll see the ultimate skill chain pop up as soon as that pops up stop your car let the skills rack up and do it again four more times uh, final challenge here a little bit trickier just want you to get three stars on the timber mill danger sign to earn 50,000 xp now let me tell you if you get this first time round, you are very very lucky or very very skillful i did not um, but you know three stars on this one it's not very hard you can see where it's located so it's just below uh, the airfield again uh, it wants you to get 450 foot to get three stars now I recommend you start just back here a little bit I'll show you the location in a sec uh, I'll show you this a couple of times how to do the jump uh, now obviously like I said I didn't get it first time every time not all of you will don't be put off by that uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of my failed attempts because you know not everyone's gonna get it first time like I said it does matter how you hit the ramp and it probably does matter what car you're in so of course I'm in my Porsche 918 spider because it's a very very quick car and it's got very good acceleration which is key because you will not have a massive run-up as I'm showing you here so it's just directly behind the danger sign or in front of it even located in between these trees and it's a straight shot uh, and you want to get just over about 100 mile an hour to do the jump now so you can see there I hit the, the ramp a little bit on the right hand side so I ended up going into a roll uh, so if you hit it pretty much dead on uh, or at a straight angle and you're not going turning into the ramp or anything then you'll hit it straight and you'll land straight as well uh, so yeah this attempt I got over 500 foot and all you need is 450 now all in all it took me about literally two minutes to try a couple of attempts because obviously the rewind tool very helpful um, so it's not hard it just might become a bit of a ball ache for some of you guys if it's taking you more than a few attempts uh, but anyway guys I hope that you enjoyed this I hope this helped you out of course uh, and at the end of the day I hope you all unlock the Mustang Boss 302 Horizon Edition uh, but without further ado massive thank you for everyone's support hope you enjoyed and take care and good luck winning this Forza Thon event and the Horizon Edition Mustang Boss <laughs> 